Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on Kotland Coal Bearers Farm. Um, so, <laughs> I've loaded up a bunch of bales and I loaded this up ha by hand. So, that's why it's not really... It's not the prettiest, but they're strapped in, so they should be there. Uh, I got this trailer, a home-built trailer for bales, so that looks pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to send this off to our main farm with course play. Then we're gonna try to unload them over there somehow. Um, and then we have this one. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh sorry Rick. <laughs> sorry about that, still have a cold. Um, then we have this Ford. Actually, it said 7610. I was looking for a 7180, I think. So this is not the correct one, but it looks pretty much the same as the real one. So I loaded this up with a bunch of bags. This is a cool trailer. You can open the side there. One, two. And tip it and that sort of stuff. So, pretty cool thing. Looks like it's really heavily loaded on the tires there. Um, but before we go, we can kind of buy a couple of things more. We need to buy a tether. Thinking about this one or this one. I think I go with this one. One of these four horsepower anyway, so it's not a big windrow, and we'll go with this one. So we need to collect those later. It almost hit me in the head. Oh, why is this? Oh my god, no. Of course it did. Hmm. It's probably the cars behind it. The cars behind this are so. The cars in this map are really annoying. No, actually, we're gonna go. Not with this one, I'm gonna go. Not with this one. We need this to flip it up. The cars in this map drive extremely fast and they don't slow down and they if you have them behind you they keep hitting you. Which is freaking annoying. And if you for some I spent a good 10 15 minutes yesterday trying to get some bags of uh, fertilizer back to this farm because well, I dropped them because I didn't. Well, I didn't drop them. I was hit by a car, and then I dropped a bag, and then I couldn't get it on. And the cars kept coming and hitting me while I was trying to get it on the bag. And it's horrible. We're on that field 20. We need to buy some more grass fields. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that too. I'm we're gonna sell. Should be gold nuggets somewhere here. Probably around that one. I'm collecting gold nuggets too because I want a million. And you can see from the map there actually you can see them. There it is. And there should be some more up here. This one. Yeah. Either I'm very big or the houses here are really small. Good thing you can see them. I mean, that's a good thing you can see them on the map, so I can collect them. Here somewhere. Here? Oh, there. It's weird. I think over here by the house. Looks like there are two of those. So I'm going to collect those so I'll get them some more money, basically.
one, and there should be one on the other side here. What is it? Down here somewhere? Oh, there. Oh, so that might be a future project. No, oh, I'm stuck here. No, I'm really stuck here. Uh, that might be a future project for uh, for this map. Collect all these. Just go ahead and collect this here. There it was. It was pretty close. So 29 of 100, so still some to go. So the cars go really fast on this map, so and they keep hitting you. So if you don't drive fast enough, they will they will push you off the road. Push your cart like this one. You learn a few tricks. So you have those home safely. Oh yeah, so I'm thinking about buying this field and some other grass fields over there. So we have a grass because if you look at the, um, the real farm I'm basing this let's play on, um, they do seems to be, from what I'm reviewing at least, do mostly grass work. And um, so I need some grass fields rather than other fields. Wh when we collect our million, we can buy some more fields, but we don't even have a sower yet, so not really point now. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll buy some grass fields basically. And we need a lot of cows because in real life, they have like 200 cows and trying to get up to 300 cows. Oh, I have to show you this. Sorry. I didn't, I couldn't find an old forager, forage. Uh, so I stuck, this is not, they have a John Deere and this is a for, forge grit. Uh, it's not the real one, but it's an older style, which is an older style they have. So I decided to go with that. Just in case you're wondering. Might be slightly overweight, so might be taking the turn too fast. Also, oh, yeah, it's not very stable. So maybe it wasn't the cars. Maybe it was just the trailer being very unsteady, which is understandable. It's a big trailer with a big load. I usually use auto load trailers on maps like I'm gonna try not to do that today but if I have uh, 200 cows that's gonna be sort of hard maybe I'll just buy or rent the truck and trailer and bring over a bunch of uh, bales that way because in real life you would probably hire someone to bring them to you and you only have to unload them Let's see, let's take this slow. You turn really slow. The 
it's not the most stable trailer. That one okay. I'm not giving any gas here, I'm just gas. I'm not accelerating, I'm just letting the engine break. So there should be some more gold nuggets somewhere on this farm. I thought I found them all, but apparently I didn't. Put that one there, and we'll go bring this one over. that car it won't stop even though I'm in front of it it won't stop it'll just run into me really fast on this map it's like annoying and I think it's because the speed they're doing they're going really fast and that's why it's that's why that's happening so I'm gonna show you also that all but uh, bag lifter which I have um, installed as a mod and you can download that links are in the description as always and it's a really cool thing so very nice uh, to lift things I also installed a weight counterweight on the back of the JCB uh, it doesn't really help that much it helps a little bit it's a 2,000 kilo weight. I can't really tell the difference. I'm, ha I'm having a hard time selling, seeing the difference. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it does help some. As I said, hopefully it does help some, but I'm not really sure because I couldn't really tell any difference. But it looks cool. So, link is links to that is also in the description. Um, I tried actually. I wanted to try to lift four bags of fertilizer. And I couldn't even with the counterweight, or the with the weight on the back there. So, so I decided, but I decided to keep it just in case because it, I I took two bags driving home and. It was hard driving and we kept we wanted to lift up the back of the telehandler so I sort of wanted to try but it couldn't hurt I, th I thought. So we'll start with this one. I don't know if you can open that side. We'll try. Hopefully you can open that side. We'll see. So we'll see. Oh yeah you could. Okay, so that's a pretty cool view. We'll get into our GCD telehandler. So this is the this is the all bot um, bag lifter. I was talking about. Let's see if we can get to these. Put these over here in the shed. The lag there was the was the auto save function, auto save mod. In case you're wondering. So let's put these down there. Sorry about my snibbling. Um, I have a cold, as I said. Oh, that did not go very well. Well, maybe we'll have to do one at a time. Oh. 
see it wants to lift up the back there. Just sometimes they get stuck there. The further in, the better they are for the weight. I think. down here and actually the last one that we might fill up our our little fertilizer spreader there because we're gonna spread some fields I guess if this is gonna work maybe it did Whoop. sort of see though no, I not I mean oh. better to he keep them quite far in so let's just move this out of the way This is, I'm going to park it here because it's not a colored trailer. You can change it. If you press send, you get a bigger trailer if you want to. Maybe a big capacity. Just in case you wanted that. Oop, oop. Uh, we'll go and put the, ma the spreader on the mass in here. We bought a go whale also too, so we can feed the cows initially. I think when you look at the the YouTube video, they seem to be mostly feeding. Well, in, in the summer they just eat grass mostly, and in the winter they they first well the first cut they do when we're mowing they put that in a silo bunker like this. So that's the first cut and the summer the second cut, and then that's what they give them. That's what they want to give them because that's more healthier the cows so they go um, the sec first cut is there in the bunker and then they use the thir second and third cut in bales so and that's what you feed them otherwise in here so hopefully this will work without it tipping over otherwise we'll just have to go okay maybe I have to uh, it's actually quite ah sorry so I have to press R see it's actually going upwards because it's unloading okay that's kind of cool so this owns 2,000 liters which is two bags so that's pretty pretty okay pretty good so we're gonna take that and go spread on our fields shortly maybe on the next episode we'll see just need to unload the bales Lots of bales. Well, that's in, actually not not a lot of bales, but we ha um, I got the 
by bale mall so I bought eight bales from of each I eight silage bales and eight where did you put that one? I need to put this down somewhere. So I did put the bale. Where did I put that? I have an implement, a bale grabber, not a grabber. Where did I put that? Oh, I have to go look. I'm gonna put it down. Where is it? This one. Where are you? Oh, you're down here. Okay, crap. Great. I have to go fetch that. So I left the bale grab. So I bought the bale grab, uh, which is sort of like the one the one they have. Not exactly. This is the McHale. They have another sort on the real farm, but um, sort of like the th the one I, they have. And uh, left it another place. So the links to that is also in the description in case you're wondering. See the driving like crazy here. There's like no way you can get in between those cars. <laughs> oh, that's just someone who drove a little bit slow. I think they go uh, go buy our farm and then turn and drive back. <laughs> oh, sorry about the snivelling. I really don't like having a cold. It's better today. Uh, last day, uh, yesterday, I had some fever. You. I don't think I have any fever anymore, but uh, yeah. Oop, should slow down there. Maybe I should buy this field. Where do you get it? Here, here, buy it. I don't know how much the fields are worth on this map. For sale. 189. Buy that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Go sell some fields. So we have 22, 23, 2, I think we could sell. 9 also, because those are pure. Arable fields seven. Sell that five, definitely five. That's too small. The twenty one, nineteen. So, I don't know if eleven is grass, the grass field, or if it's there. Cloud field, but oh, that's not a grass field. Could turn it into grass field pretty simply, simply uh, easily, but we won't do that. So nineteen and twenty-one, I think, because those are also grass fields. And we have a lot of money, so we can buy those. cheap actually. I think there's a grass field behind the farm here up to which we can buy. Sort of behind everything here. We own twenty three, I think twenty four is grass field too. We can go Look at a twenty-four field. This at this rate, we could actually probably buy the cows we need. Two hundred cows. I think we have enough money to buy two hundred cows. So we own that one. We want to own this one on the right here too. And maybe. 
maybe 24, 25. I think 25 is grass field too. How do you get to 25? It seems like a long way to go. 25 is a big field, maybe that's too big. I can walk through barbed wire. That's good. How many fields do I have now? Maybe I should have. I have 200 cows, I need more fields. See, 200 cows. How much is 200 cows, by the way? Plus transport. I should, maybe I should. You would check that first. Uh, let's see. I should hold off on this field before. I'll hold off on it. Just grab some gold nuggets. This is a nice part of the area. Even when I played this map a lot, I didn't really play go around here a lot. Let's get grab these nuggets while you're here. This is a nice little area. Go across here. Oh, stable. Where could it go like this? Let's see, um, here somewhere. Maybe in here. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course it's in there. Should have guessed. Somewhere around here. On the back. Yeah. Thirty six. Uh, this is going more towards the Yetton Ridge farm. This maybe the pigs. Ah, this looks like the pigs. This is sort of a look around also. On the map. There should be one here somewhere. Maybe it's around the back here. No. There are, oh, there. The corner there. Somewhere here. Somewhere here, maybe in here. Oh, there was. Corner here. I know this is not the most exciting things to watch. I know, I know, I know. But if we get a million euros, we can do some fun stuff. Uh, should be around here somewhere. Back here. And we'll go over here. I'm just basically looking at the map, not the... No, not in there. There was two of them. Oh, okay. We need one more. Oh, leg here. Somewhere in this house, I think. So, oh, there it is. On the little pallets. Sorry. Jumped over. <laughs> I can't jump back. I have to go around it again. I'm sorry about it. Oh, come on. Don't jump over it now. Don't get stuck in things. Okay. Then we have the last one, which is 
somewhere around here, up, up here. Good thing you can see them on the map. I'm climbing a tree. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So, um, that was not the plan. I was gonna buy some fields and go too far. Um, so, we'll see me unloading the bales on the next episode. So, have a great day, everyone, and thank you for watching this channel. This has been the Colbert Cotland and Colbert Park Farm Let's Play on Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.